Hello, and welcome to Pro Tips for Positrack Pro, our online video training series. In this video, we're going to look at a brief introduction into the purchase order system in Positrack Pro. So from the main menu, choose Purchase Orders. And now we are in the Purchase Order main menu. Beginning at the top left, there is a list of current outstanding orders. And you can click on each of these POs individually to see what's included on each order. The first number you see listed is the PO number, and the supplier name is directly behind that. Below that, you'll see some PO details like when it was initially created and when it was last modified. Before we actually create an order, let's look at how we add and edit suppliers. So at the top, choose Edit Suppliers. This will bring up the supplier list. I can add a new supplier, or I can click on a particular supplier that I already have in the list and edit. So this screen that comes up will normally be set up by Positrack support. It contains all the electronic uh, data interchange information uh, that will be given to us by your supplier. But on the right side, there's two tables that you'll want to be familiar with. The first table is a list of vendor lines that are selected to come up for the supplier on normal stock orders. You can add and subtract from this list. If you want to remove a line code, just choose the X, answer yes, and now it's gone. If you want to add a line, just click the Add Line button, type in the line code, and press OK and answer yes to is this the primary supplier. The next table is a list of alternate line codes. The purpose of this table is to translate the line code if your supplier's line code is different. They will always see their line code in their system. You will always see your line code in your system. The line codes are translated at the time that it is electronically submitted to the supplier. Again, you can remove the line code by hitting the X, and then you can add a new translation by hitting Add Single Alternate. We'll save our changes and close this. So now let's create a new PO. I'll click Create PO. And then I have a list of a number of purchase order types that I can choose from. The most common two are listed one and two. Uh, number one, order at or below min to max. Or number two, replace daily sales. But I do have other options such as a manual or special order, where I can just type in a list of part numbers to generate an order. For this example, I'm going to choose number one, order at or below min to max. And the screen that comes up is the purchase order editor. My default supplier will come up first, but if I need to choose a different supplier, I can drop down the list and choose a different one. I'll leave it at my default and I'll hit get PO report. And you'll see the purchase order populate on the screen. First of all, you'll notice down at the bottom right, the total part count and the order total for the items that are currently on the purchase order. The order quantity column in the middle that is shaded is editable, so I can click in here and overwrite a suggested order quantity. And you'll notice the part count and the order total down at the bottom is reflected as I make changes. On the far right, I have a list of line codes that are included on this stock order. I have the option if I want to remove an entire line code at a time off the suggested order, I can just click the red X and it will remove all those parts included under that line code. For instance, if I just want to order them separately or if I'm trying to get my order total down, I can remove an entire line code at a time. And again, you'll see the part count and the order total reflected at the bottom as I make changes. I have some history options for the parts that are on the stock order. I have a quarter to date sold, I have year one, and I have the date that it was last sold. So all of these parameters together will help me decide if I need to reorder specific parts or not. I have the option to right click 
and edit specific parts that are on this order. For instance, this particular part has a max of one and there's no on hand, but the part has never been sold. I'm going to right click on this part anywhere on the line and hit edit part. And I'm going to change this to a non-stocking number. I'm going to take out the max and I'm going to check non-stocking part so that this won't come up on future orders. I'll hit save changes, answer yes, and then OK. And it does tell me that the changes will not be updated on this particular screen, but they are made in the background and this part will not come up on future orders. I'll go ahead and zero it off for this order. And then I'm going to save my changes. And I can see that my new stock order is listed. Now I have some options. If I need to go back and edit this order, I can click Edit PO. And for instance, let's say I forgot to zero off a few numbers. I can go back in, make those changes, and hit Save and Close. At this point, I would transmit the PO to my supplier electronically. To do that, I'll just click on the PO on the left and choose Transmit PO. And if I hit submit, that order will go directly uh, into my supplier system. Once I click on a PO, there are a few other options. If I need to discard or delete a PO, I can just hit delete. I can print it and I can email a PO. For instance, if my supplier doesn't support a direct electronic communication, I can send them an email copy of the PO. The next day, when the order comes in from my supplier, I'll need to make any necessary edits and then post it. For instance, if any numbers were back ordered, I'll need to go in and edit the PO to zero those numbers out. So I'll choose my PO, I'll hit edit, and let's say, for instance, they shorted me on this particular number. I'll zero that off. I'll save my changes. And now I can post the stock order. Again, click on the PO, choose Post PO, and hit Post PO again. It will ask me if I want a posting report. I'm going to answer no, and it will post each line item back into inventory. I'll hit Close, and I'll notice that my PO is gone out of the list of outstanding orders. And that's all for this introduction to the stock order system. Be sure to check out our other training videos and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for updates and product announcements.